Carolina Shore Fishing here with you. And I've got a special little catch and cook here. We're gonna cook up some sand fleas. Yes, sand fleas, or otherwise known as mole crabs. So I've got a few that I left over from uh, my Friday trip, and it's actually Sunday, and they're still alive, so perfect. We'll go ahead and cook them up. Let me show you what I've got here to work with. Just a few sand fleas in there. Not too many, so in case we don't like them, but I heard they taste between a shrimp and a crab cross, so I'm excited to give it a try here. Let's go over to the beach right now. I'll show you guys how we pick these up, and then we'll get to cooking them. We've got our sand fleas here rinsing out in some fresh water, trying to get all the sand out from within their body because we don't need to be munching on any of that. It'll give us a terrible crunch there. You can see some of them got their feeding antennas sticking out. That's what causes the V right there. And it's probably just because they haven't been in any water for a while, so they're trying to get some food from what they can. You can see that one right there. Those are the feeding antenna that we see causing the Vs. Pretty cool stuff. We'll go ahead and get our oil heating up on medium high because I'm gonna fry them up, batter them, and we'll top it off with the Old Bay seasoning. All right, so I'm just using this Louisiana New Orleans style fish fry batter. We'll uh, toss them up in that baggie there and we'll get them out onto the oil. Just make sure that they're all moving. Oh, this is a big one. This has got to be the most delicious one, right? I don't see any eggs on any of the ones that I grabbed. Yeah, no eggs. And no eggs on this one here. And on these. So I don't want to be cooking any that have been sitting dead, collecting bacteria and whatnot, so this one doesn't move for me, it's not going in. This one is moving, this one's moving. And we've got this one. All right, so there we go. That's all of our sand fleas ready to be battered up. Toss them in there. You know what I probably should have done? Dried them before I threw them in here. Now look at our batter. Got the rest here in our oil. You can hear it is hot. So, a little bit of splash from the water inside of them. So 
So we'll let them go until they're orange. As those are frying up, I'll show you the water that we washed them out in. So you can see how dirty that water's gotten. So, so good step to do here. Make sure you're washing them in fresh water before you're cooking them up. Look at those little boogers. Let me not call them that. It's probably not a appealing way to advertise this. And they look to be about done here. Oh yeah, check those babies out there. Looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna touch them off here with a little bit of Old Bay sprinkle over them. All right, it's the moment of truth here. I know you all want to know what do these guys taste like. It smells like crab to me. Nothing to it, just to do it. It's all right. It's all right. I've never had soft shell crab, so I can't compare it to that for you guys, but I've had shrimp, I've had blue crab, and it is it is pretty close to both of those, I would say. What is missing is that like meatiness to it. So, it's all crunch and it's pretty good flavor, you know? Like I would if you advertise this to me as like a crunch snack, I would probably get it because if I advertise as like a shrimp crab mix, like I'm expecting meat, so that just doesn't do it. But if you tell me like shrimp crackers or something, probably have a good selling point there. So that was the big girl right there. And it was all right, you know? I, I wouldn't knock these. I'd definitely say to you guys, try it out. Who knows, you might find like that these are incredible to you. I'm pretty indifferent to them. I think uh, if I get to camping out on the beach, I'll definitely bring out a little bit of flour to eat some up while I'm out there because it does make a good good snack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook. I know it's a little different. These guys are pretty good. They are lacking the meat. So not sure what we're looking at here for macros. You know how much protein and stuff we're getting. But it's all not too bad. Alright, hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.